Hey guys, it's Mal with our stamp video, and today, as you can see, we have a grab bag. Super excited to get into this one. Caleb is my buddy. Can't wait to see what he sent us. In the previous grab bag video, I actually opened up his brother's grab bag named Carson. Sent him back a few stamps, so you can go check that video out if you want to. Um, but this one is from Caleb. Now, Caleb is the older brother, um, so usually he does send a few uh, slightly better stamps than his younger brother, which makes sense, right? So, uh, I think this is his third grab bag he sent me. Um, I feel like me and him, like I said, are buddies. I um, really enjoy going through his stuff that he sends me. Um, and super excited to send him back stuff. For those of you who don't know, I do grab bag exchanges like you will see in this video. Um, people send me grab bags. They send me a little note saying, hey, this is what's in this grab bag. Um, this is what I would like in return. And I do my best to fulfill um, their request. So without further ado, let's get into it. I did, of course, preemptively open it. And we'll get it out. All right. Looks like we got a coin there. I do see that note. All right, let's see how taped up this is. Oh, it's not too bad. Tape the back. Tape right there. And we're just going to tear this little bag. No need to save that, right? And we will get into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read this note, make sure there's no personal information. If there's not, I'll show you guys. Um, hang in there. And he wrote an awesome, awesome letter to me here. He says, thanks so much for the um, stamp you sent me in the last grab bag. In this grab bag, just so you know, there's a postcard from the Air Force Museum in Dayton. Um, my dad actually served in the Air Force, um, he says, for five years, so I think it's cool to have something like that. Um, Mr. Rutledge, thank you so much for your service. I really appreciate it. Um, and then he says, in return, I'd like some old stamps from Africa, pre-1940 if possible, um, to add to my collection. All right, Caleb, I'm going to do my best. Let's get into your grab bag. He also did, of course, mention that there's a coin here. I'm not going to get it out of this little thing. I think it's probably going to be a wheat penny. It's from 1920. It's definitely a wheat penny. It's from 1920. I think 19. I think 1926, um, from what I can tell. I'm not going to get it out, of course. I'm going to keep it in this little protective little baggie. Um, so, so cool, wheat penny. And this, of course, is the postcard from the Air Force Museum, which is awesome. Put that right here, and it looks like there might be two of these here. Oh, sweet! I already noticed, I already recognize a few of these. Let's see, there's two, or it might just be one. He used it to protect it. So, uh, we'll start here. We got some stamps from China up here, it looks like, as you can see, some Netherlands stamp, got a boxing stamp. Look like we got a corner US stamp here. Um, going down, got some French or French, Australia, some German, German, German. Um, so yeah, so he did send me a nice little assortment of stamps. Um, as you can see, I think these shiny stamps are probably the ones that I'm gravitating towards the most um, in this grab bag. So you guys know the deal. Now it's my job to go get some pre-1940 African stamps so I can find them, send them back to Caleb. All right, I'll be back in a second. And we are back. I just went to my little tub of stamps that I have organized from Africa. Uh, just got a handful of them, so we'll see what's in here. Um, whatever's in here is going to you, Caleb. Um, so if there's a stamp that does have value, guess what? It's yours. Um, those of you who are watching this video in the comment section down below, if you have any comments about a stamp or um, think a stamp could be really interesting because maybe the postmark, um, definitely let Caleb know because these are coming his way. So we'll get rolling. First off, we got one from Liberia. Some of these African stamps are just beautiful too. Go. Got a nice rhino. Reunion um, and Caleb just a heads up there are some with some hinges on them and I just left them um, for you I'm um, to either leave them on to put them in your stock books or to take them off Southern Rhodesia Looks like there's some old ones coming up actually Oh man Kenyan Uganda Sorry, I was about to pronounce the name up top. But I decided I didn't have to it's Kenyan Uganda There you go Tangangiaka 
Iyaka, whatever. I'm mispronouncing it. Don't make fun of me. Thank you. Uh, moving on. Same. <laughs> Someone let me know how to pronounce that. I, I'm terrible at certain countries. I run, up against, I run into them every now and then. I just embarrass myself. Sierra Leone. So Orange the Free State. Um, I do think this is an early one um, because of N. Penny. Um, so this one is definitely, I believe, it's from the 1800s. Um, so if you want an early African stamp, Caleb, there you go. What is this one? Oh, nice orange river colony. Yeah, we got some early ones coming up. Cape of Good Hope. So we got some South African stuff going on here. Nigeria. Another Sierra Leone, but earlier. Victoria on there. And another Sierra Leone. Looks like you're getting a little Sierra Leone little package. Kenya and Uganda. Oh, a nice mint. Nigeria. Angola. See, this one has a hinge on it as well. Nice Nigeria. Les Wallace and Fortuna. On Togo. Got a newer Nigeria than the other ones we've seen so far. Liberia. Put that by the Liberia one up there. Cote d'Ivoire. Used to have a really good soccer team that would make it to the World Cup um, every year. Now, not so much. Of course, I can't talk. As an American, we didn't make it to the World Cup the last go-round. Madagascar. A few more here. Mozambique. Uh, South Africa Republic. Um, this looks like it does have a pretty heavy hinge. It looks like it's been in a few different stock books. Um, so yeah, so Caleb, this is good. It looks like actually it's been cut out of an envelope, probably to save the postmark. I can't tell if that says Johannesburg or not. It might, but that's a nice early stamp. And the last but not least, we have Chad. All right, so Caleb, these are all headed your way. Thank you so much for your grab bag. If you guys want to do a grab bag with me, um, grab bag exchange with me, just send me um, a grab bag. Um, like I said, send a note in it. Let me know what's in the grab bag. Also, let me know what you will be sending, um, what you would like me to send you in return. The address you can send those grab, bag to, grab bags to will be down below in the description. Um, and as always, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching.